Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel The Art of Learning New Things. So in this today video we are going to see why does we celebrate the new year especially on January 1st. So come on guys, let's go into the video. Let's see the myths hidden behind it. The first time January 1st came to be considered as the beginning of the new year was back in 45 BCE. The Roman calendar before that began in the month of March and consisted of 355 days an additional 27 day or 28 day intercalary month would sometimes be inserted between February and March it was a Roman dictator Julius Caesar who reformed the calendar soon after coming to power in the late 1st century BCE but even as the Julian calendar gained popularity large parts of europe did not accept it till well into a mid 16th century with the advent of christianity january 1st as the beginning of a new year was seen as pagan while december 25th with its religious connotation regarding the birth of jesus was considered more acceptable and there was also the issue of misplaced calculation on the part of caesar due to which the new year day often kept shifting it was only after pope gregory reformed the julian calendar and standardized january 1st as the first day of a new year that it slowly acquired currency across the world and the calendar made by Julius Caesar the earlier roman calendar was conceived by Romulus the founder of rome in the 8th century bce numa populius who came to the power a year later made it a 12 month year by adding the months of january and february but the interesting part is this calendar which followed the lunar cycle frequently fell out of synchronize with the seasons moreover the member of council of priests assigned with the duty of overseeing the cal- calendar were often accused of adding days in order to interfere with election dates or extend a political term after julius caesar came to power in 46 bce he attempted to reform the calendar for which he took the advice of alexandrian astronomer sosigenius suggested doing away with the lunar cycle and following the sun instead the way of egyptian did accordingly the year was calculated at 365 and half days interestingly caesar added 67 days to the year 46 bce so that the new year in 45 bce would begin in january 1 The date was chosen to honor the Roman god of the beginnings, Janus, who is believed to have two faces, one looking back into the past and the other to the future. Thereafter, ancient Romans celebrated the day by offering sacrifices to Janus and exchanging gifts with one another. However, with the spread of Christianity, the celebrations of a Roman god was seen as a pagan ritual in many parts of Europe. Accordingly, in medieval europe christian leaders attempted to celebrate the beginning of a new year on a day with more religious significance like december 25th christmas or march 25 the feast of the annunciation and there was also an error made by caesar and sosigenius in calculating the number of days in a solar year the actual number of days in a solar calendar is 365 decimal 24199 as opposed to the 365 decimal 25 that caesar had calculated consequently there was a gap of 11 minutes every year which added up to about 11 days by the year 1582 this di- effect was the principal concern to the people and pope If the Julian calendar had continued in the service Easter would eventually have been celebrated in the summer writes historian Gordian Mayer in this article 
And finally, the calendar made by Pope Gregory XIII, the reform was not easy. Pope Gregory assembled an eminent body of astronomers, mathematicians and clergymen for the purpose. The main challenge is faced was to afflicting almost every civil calendar that of dealing with a fraction of a dangling at the end of the year. In order to fix the miscalculation of the Julian calendar, Aloysius Lilius, the Italian scientist who worked on the Gregorian calendar, devised a new system whereby every fourth year would be a leap year, but century years that were not divisible by 400 were exempted. For instance, consequently, the Catholic countries like Italy, Spain and Portugal were quick to adopt the new system. Protestant countries like England and Germany held off till about the end of 18th century. Some accounts suggest that the riot took place in the streets of England in the year 1752 when the country went on to adopt the new calendar. The last European country to adopt the Gregorian calendar was Greece in 1923 and China adopted it in 1912. There are some countries including India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Myanmar, Israel where the traditional calendar is used alongside the Gregorian one. In India, the Sakha calendar which begins with the Chaitra month, March 21-22 is used along with the Gregorian calendar for most official purposes. So finally guys, no need of get, getting confusions. Why we are celebrating this new year is the important is Janus, who is believed to have two faces, one looking back into the past and other the future. So, welcome to the 2022. May this year will be blessed with all your dreams comes true. Thank you. Have fun. Bye-bye.